हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ बैक स्टोरी इंस्पिरेशनल ऑफिसर्स नाउ वी ऑल नो दैट द जर्नी टूवर्ड्स बिकमिंग एन ऑफिसर इज नॉट ईजी लैक्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस हैव देयर ओन इंडिविजुअल जर्नीज स्ट्रगल्स एंड चैलेंजेस एंड टेक डिफरेंट पार्ट्स टू अचीव द सेम गोल टुडे वी ब्रिंग टू यू द स्टोरी ऑफ एन आई एस ऑफिसर हु लेफ्ट अ ग्रेट जॉब एट द वर्ल्ड बैंक इन लंडन टू परस्यू हर ड्रीम ऑफ बिकमिंग अ सिविल सर्वेंट एंड हेल्पिंग पीपल This is the story of IAS Hari Chandana Dasri. She completed her schooling in Hyderabad followed by her 12th and graduation in arts from St Anne's College in Hyderabad itself. Post that she moved to London to complete her MSc in environmental economics and started working with World Bank. After her stint there, she also worked with BP Shell for a while. Hari's father, Mr. D Srinivas, is an ex-IS officer of the 1987 batch with the then United Andhra Pradesh State Government. Once when she came back home on a vacation, she happened to interact with an old man who came to meet her father. While offering him water, she asked him the purpose of his visit. The old farmer was one of the beneficiaries of the land distribution that her father took up when she was the joint collector in Medak district in Andhra Pradesh. Even after 20 years, he still remembered her father and came to convey his regards. The land parcel they received brought them good fortunes as the land price went up. His family and children are still surviving on that. This chance meeting triggered her to choose IS as a profession. which has much wider public reach than any other work profiles in the private sector she would develop specialization but the impact and public reach is limited in world bank again she was working with is officers bureaucracies and politics are the only two professions through which a larger impact can be brought for the betterment of people while the latter was not her cup of tea she chose to take up is She cleared the UPSC civil services exam in her second attempt in 2010 and chose the Telangana cadre. Currently posted as collector and district magistrate of Narayanpet, Telangana, she has been instrumental in taking up a whole lot of initiatives that have won her numerous accolades. She is an environmentalist at heart and believes in author Sydney Shelton's mantra of try to leave earth a better place than you arrived. Keeping this as a motto She launched a series of environmental initiatives that not only safeguard the planet but also build sustainable cities that meet all the modern needs and amenities for the people while also addressing ecological concerns. As the zonal and additional commissioner of Greater Hyderabad Municipal Corporation (GHMC), she conceptualized and spearheaded several green initiatives including plastic recycling, waste reuse in 2016. Share Happiness Kiosk which welcome people to share extra furniture or household products with fellow citizens. She also launched Green Footpaths in 2019 which covered the installation of plastic tiles for footpaths, twin bins made out of recycled plastic around the city which promoted recycling amongst the citizens. In the same year, she also introduced resin bound permeable paving of trees on footpaths aimed to promote water seepage. protect the top soil and ensure better protection of trees while the list of her initiatives is never ending she has spearheaded the recycling of reuse of 35 metric tons of plastic around 38 feed the need fridges five theme parks and four composts she has also facilitated 85 lakh plantations across the district during her 12 years as an is officer she has worked relentlessly to bring positive change in the lives of the people By adopting sustainable and inclusive growth models, she has been able to strike a fine balance between the needs of the people and the ecology that surrounds them. Her work, especially during the pandemic, has ensured that people not only remain safe but also prosper during the unpredictable crisis. She has also spearheaded a project for the launch of a 10 bed ICU at District Hospital Narayanpet, Telangana. The project was the first of its kind launched in a private public partnership with the support of the state government and a group of NGOs to combat the pandemic. 
In another similar initiative during the pandemic, she gathered and engaged over 4,000 weavers and women in mask-making endeavors to ensure that they can support themselves financially. In just a year, the enterprise made a profit of rupees 50 lakh. Her innovative efforts to keep the livelihood of people safe made her the only bureaucrat from Telangana who got shortlisted for the prestigious Prime Minister's Excellence in Public Administration Award 2020. As part of PM Modi's Swachh Bharat mission, she also launched a series of cleanliness-related initiatives which got her attention and accolades at the national level. As the Zonal Commissioner for GHMC, she oversaw the construction of 35,000 individual sanitary latrines ISLs, in urban areas. Apart from this, a list of achievements also includes setting up 326 plus community toilet complexes, more than 65,000 individual toilets, 280 dump yards and 200 segregation sheds in villages, while 47 villages constructed modern crematoriums at their cost under her guidance. So that was the backstory of this incredible officer who is passionate about the environment and is a recycling champion, for which people often associate her for bringing about another green revolution in Hyderabad. She has impacted the lives of many in a short span of time and is an inspiration to many women around the country. If you wish to know more about her journey and the various initiatives that she has taken up, you can visit harichandanais.com. That's it for this episode. Let us know what you thought of it. And as always, do suggest to us names of officers whose backstory you would like us to cover. Jai Hind.